Hello everybody, happy holidays. Uh, it's Christmas Day, I didn't think I'd be doing this today, but I had so many questions regarding Ethereum. People think it's better than Bitcoin, people think Bitcoin's too expensive, and the big question that was posed to me was, does it make sense to invest in Ethereum? So I'm going to run through uh, some of the observations that I see between Ethereum and Bitcoin, particularly around a valuation perspective. But bear in mind, first of all, this is not investment advice, this is just some observations that I'm making out there. So. Let's jump right in. The thesis is Ethereum undervalued vis-a-vis -vis Bitcoin. So first of all, uh, please subscribe to this channel. I like to make unique content, things that really help answer hard problems. Please pose those questions to me and then I can give you my unique perspective that's based in data and actual facts. So first of all, let's start comparing the market caps of both Ethereum and Bitcoin you'll very quickly see here that Ethereum money makes up about 15% of the market cap of Bitcoin. Bitcoin currently today, as of right now, is just shy of $450 billion, whereas Ethereum is $70 billion. The other thing, I'm going to start by talking about some of the quick differences. So many see Bitcoin as digital gold, gold 2.0, and Ethereum is considered that digital oil. Difference number two, Bitcoin has a lower coin supply. Obviously, you've, you've seen any of my videos, I talk about scarcity, scarcity, scarcity. You know, the 18 and a half million that I've been mined, and then four to five million that are lost, and then another four to five million have been taken off the exchanges. So the supply of Bitcoin is extremely thin. But Ethereum, how what makes Ethereum different is that it has better technology, provides more capabilities and use cases than Bitcoin does. But the supply is not infinite. So some details here, I want to jump into some of the quick background. Obviously, we all know the origin of Bitcoin, but in 2013, about four years after Bitcoin launched, Vitaly Buterin launched Ethereum. They're both open source, they're both decentralized, they both need mining and hash power for security, they're both peer-to-peer. -peer. However, the really interesting thing about Ethereum is it is a native coin, not designed to be a digital dollar, but to support smart contracts. And we see a lot of applications happening right now. Also, Ethereum uses a more complex logic called a Turing logic. Some other things that we'd like to jump into, talk about speed and supply. Ethereum is considered to be faster because it uses ET hash. And they are moving, the vision is moved to break proof of stake and not proof of work, which is what Bitcoin is based upon. Again, Bitcoin has a finite supply. Ethereum has no max cap. It's infinite in theory. And Ethereum also has a sort of halving, but nothing to the extent of Bitcoin. So in conclusion, both have different purposes. Ethereum has smart contracts. The Ethereum blockchain is more sophisticated. And as DeFi goes mainstream, we will probably see Ethereum exploding to support lending, property transfers, and many other things. Bitcoin is a sure bet. Ethereum is speculative. So be careful out there. Again, Bitcoin is the king. Ethereum is number two. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the, first of all, since the inception of Ethereum and Bitcoin, I did an analysis of all the closing prices at the end of every day and created a ratio. Got looking two ways, both Bitcoin divided by Ethereum and Ethereum divided by Bitcoin. We're going to talk about some of the observations that I see. First of all, over the last six months, this chart will tell you the ratio of Ethereum to Bitcoin is low, which means Ethereum is technically cheaper on a Bitcoin basis than it has been in the last six months. So if you look at this graphic here, you will see the ratio in the past was about 0 0.04 and today it's 0 0.025. And that's a substantial difference just going back to September. So big move. So basically Bitcoin has gone up, Ethereum has not gone up as much. Now, Ethereum did go up a lot at the beginning of the year, but they've also had a lot of features and functionalities with Ethereum 2.0 after Ethereum 2.0 launched. So I think you could argue the case that there is some hidden value here and it is not fully priced into the market. As you also know, I like to identify market pricing inefficiencies. This next chart is a different one. This is the one that I've tapped seven years of data of different price points. And I pulled a basic trend line of the ratio 
of Bitcoin divided by Ethereum. You will see here the ranges start anywhere from 10 Ethereum to one Bitcoin way back in January 1st, January, February timeframe 2018, all the way to a high point of about 66, 67 Ethereum for every Bitcoin. Now, the big takeaway here is the R squared is 0.462 which is not a very tight fit, but it, they are somewhat correlated. So typically when Bitcoin bounces, Ethereum bounces as well. However, I believe it's lagging behind. We'll talk more about them in that in a minute. But when you look at this trend line here, and if you project it out to today, there should be about 47 Ethereum for every Bitcoin. However, the functionality of Ethereum has changed a lot. So we may never get back to that 47 Ethereum per Bitcoin again, but who knows? Let's jump to the next slide. So the three quick conclusions that I pull from all of this. First one, we'll jump into conclusion number one. The range of Ethereum typically ship between, between 32 and 40 ETH per Bitcoin. The historic three-year value is 47 based on R squared. Now, when we drill into that, what does that actually mean? The conclusion part one, if you imagine the relative value on December 1st, not too long ago, 2020, the Bitcoin to Ethereum ratio is 32. The Bitcoin price is 19,000. Therefore, the estimated Ethereum price was $594. Today, the Bitcoin to ETH ratio is 40. Okay, that's a huge difference in just a month. The Bitcoin price is $24,500. The estimated Ethereum price is 613. Now, if you take the 47 ratio, which is the historical average based on the trend line, the Ethereum price should be 521. But this is just an observation, not a conclusion yet. Conclusion part two, the interesting thing about this, assuming that 47 ratio, and everybody is expecting Bitcoin to hit $100,000 a year from now, say, think Christmas 2021, the Ethereum price should be approximately 2,128, and it's currently trading at 612. So you can do the math there. It's uh, three and a half times upside. Conclusion number three. Now, this is really a question of what you want yourself. The Bitcoin ratio ranges from 0 0.0254 to 0 0.034. Meaning, if you jump into some of the numbers here, using this other way of looking at how it breaks down, December 1st, based on these two different values, based on Bitcoin at a current value of $25,000, Ethereum should be worth 635 today. However, if you go to the 0 0.034 method, Ethereum should be worth about $850 today. As of December 5th, 25th, Christmas Day, next year if bitcoin goes to a hundred thousand dollars and we assume these two ratios of 0 0.0254 to 0 0.034 the value of ethereum will be between 2540 and 3400 which would be based on the 2020 average so they're kind of the three big conclusions the last graphic i will show you so you can all make your own conclusions this is when I made my first Bitcoin video on October 7th, Bitcoin was at $10,500. This shows the price fluctuations relative to Bitcoin. As you can see, Bitcoin's gone up 127%, whereas Ethereum has only gone up 74%. So the takeaway that I see here is, I think because of a lot of the fallout from XRP, and maybe the launch of Ethereum 2.0 and other elements. I do believe Ethereum is lagging behind Bitcoin. And I believe over the next 30 days, that should become more in line, which means Bitcoin ratio to Ethereum should fall back to where it needs to be. And I reckon Ethereum will go to 850 plus. Again, not investment advice, just some observations. Please add a comment in the comment area below and love to hear from you and what you think about these different ways of looking at the ratios of Ethereum to Bitcoin, Bitcoin to Ethereum, and where things are going to go over the next couple of months or even over the next year. Thank you all. Happy Christmas, everybody. 
and please subscribe to the channel for more analytic observations.